And at least one and a half million dollars to help tornado victims in Minnesota and other Midwestern states. It is 56 degrees in the Twin Cities. We'll have more news on midday. Today, Batman fever is here, and we have the sexy cat women that help make the superhero so hot. Julie Newmar, Lee Merriweather, and Eartha Kitt always knew just when to show their claws. We'll surprise them today with a special guest, Adam West. The original Batman returns. Plus, 12 gorgeous young women will be competing on our stage to become the next supermodel of America. And the very sexy Ashley will tell us what it takes to become a Ford supermodel. And it's all next on the Mario Tobin Show. Today's the day. We've all been waiting for it. Moviegoers across the country start flocking to theaters for the latest adventures of America's greatest superhero, Batman. He used to be just a comic book hero, but today Batman is a major movie star. And with the release of Batman Returns, we get to see more of the Cape Crusader and some of his old criminal cronies. Perhaps one of the more memorable meanies to do battle with Batman is the curvaceous Catwoman. I am Michelle Pfeiffer plays the felonious feline, but she wasn't the first to claw her way to a cinematic showdown with a Cape Crusader. The original was Julie Newmar, who starred in the first year of the TV series. And then came Lee Merriweather, who scratched her way to stardom as Catwoman II. Eartha Kitt was the last one to lock horns with Batman before the TV series was canceled in 1968. And now, if the new Batman movie does as well as expected, the character of Catwoman may well have more than nine lives. <laughs> okay, Julie Newmar had the perfect figure to play Catwoman, and when she slipped on that skin-tight cat suit, men everywhere began to yell. She was instantly America's favorite feline felon. Please welcome the original Catwoman, Julie Newmar. <laughs> oh, my mic dropped. Oh, my mic. Oh, oh God. Hey. Gotta stand up. I have to stand up uh, tall. Stand up tall, and first I have to say, forgive me, Connie. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where I'm gonna put my mic. Uh, it was... Uh, Quite a leap when uh, Lee Merriweather went from being crowned Miss America 1955 to playing the villainous Catwoman. But that was when her daughters say they finally believed she'd made it as an actress. Please welcome another Catwoman, Lee Merriweather. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, my gosh. This is fun. <laughs> ah. oh. So you did sizzle, Julie, as the first Catwoman. Well, I had something to do with making that costume. Is, is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are a few secrets inside that costume. It's all in the seams, by the well, way. No, I think the secrets remain. That wasn't your question, was it? <laughs> no, but, I, I, but, it was, but was Catwoman supposed to be sexy to start with? <laughs> was they she? hired. They was she? Hired. She, she, was, the she was the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> sure, Maury. <laughs> you didn't watch the show. <laughs> but when you came along, Lee, was yeah. it was had Catwoman changed? Well, she changed because. Um, I played her. I wasn't as married. sexy. I wasn't as sexy as Julie. I'll never be as sexy as Julie. So, oh. I mean, I, uh, oh, well, anyway, you it's were enough. Great. You were on the big <laughs> but, screen. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I had to fit into her costume. No, you didn't. <laughs> they did, you, How did that happen? <laughs> oh, it, with a lot of sponge rubber, for one no. thing. You know, Miss I, America, no way. You know who owns my costume? No. Debbie Reynolds. Is that right? Yes. Really? She was she on the, the show. Collection. I didn't know that. Yes. Yes. 
She was here. I don't think she fits it. Yes, I don't think so. <laughs> I think she would even admit that. <laughs> it hangs down. The I'm only saying that because she's about a. Why did she? Shorter. Did she just buy it because the she wardrobe went? She bought the went? collection uh, of MGM costumes, and uh, that was part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you left after one year. I didn't leave. They forgot where I went. Oh. <laughs> I was being, I was trying to be diplomatic, Julie. Oh, you're kind. Did you want but to come back for a second year? Were you doing other I things? I did six shows, six hours, and uh, it's an institution. I don't feel <laughs> like an institution. <laughs> who told, I heard a story, was it your younger brother who said you had to yes. do Catwoman? Yes. My brother was visiting me from Harvard, and I was, lived in New York. L.A., New York, L.A., New York, you know. And it was the weekend, and I got this call, and they said, do you want to play in, in this Batman show? And I said, what? And he, when he heard that, he leapt off the couch, and he grabbed me by the arm, and he pushed me out the door. He says, go out and do it. And we started filming on Tuesday. It became such a hit, and not only a hit, but it became camp and cultish and very important for big Hollywood stars to play uh, cameo roles oh. in, in the uh, series. Frank Sinatra tried to buy his way in. <laughs> <laughs> for, for instance... I, I heard that was a true story. No, it's, no. I don't know what character he wanted to no. play. Probably himself. <laughs> could have, could no, have done you, it well. You had to, no, you had to play a character. Uh, Lee, when you came on, it was your kids, right? Oh, yes. Who finally fell, uh, said, as, as we said in the beginning, who, who said, Mommy, I'm, you've now arrived. Right. Well, they, they just really didn't think that I was much of an actress if I couldn't be on the Batman series or, the, or, the, or a movie or whatever, anything to do with Batman. If I hadn't accomplished that, I wouldn't have. <laughs> That's right. It was usually the star's yes. children who pushed them into it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I heard yeah. that from... Um, uh, any number of stars who guested on the, on the show. So, Julie was there for the first series, then you did the movie. I did the movie. And there was a third Catwoman, yes. and we'll talk to the fabulous Eartha Kitt when we come back after this. Breast milk is the perfect food. But if you ever need a formula, know that Gerber cares about your baby's delicate system. That's why Gerber baby formula is patterned after your own milk, to help your baby accept and digest it easily. All right, that was a good one. <laughs> and if your doctor recommends a soy, now there's new Gerber soy formula. If it doesn't come from you, shouldn't it come from Gerber? Ordinary pickles are cooked and limp. Not Clawson. They're packed fresh and stored cold. So they're always crisp and delicious. Taste the difference. Cold, crisp, Clawson. I think I'll make fresh dressing. Good seasons? Mm-hmm. Which oil? Pick a light one. Mmm. Dressing's great. Good seasons. You make it fresh, you make it best. When it comes to your future, people will tell you lots of things. But for you, just a job isn't enough. If you want to help others as you help yourself, train at the Medical Institute of Minnesota. If you love animals, then take care of them. Give advice on everything from grooming to nutrition as a veterinary technician. It's fun, rewarding, and best of all, you'll go to work in an industry that's looking for people like you. A rewarding career as a veterinary technician waits. For free career information, call 924-3500. The Medical Institute of Minnesota. Now in Bloomington. This time of the year, Minnesota weather can change in an instant. I know. I've lived here all my life. Hi, I'm Dave Dahl. That's why here at Channel 5, we have not one, but two Doppler radar systems to warn you of oncoming storms. Combine that with pictures from Tower Cam and our five WeatherWatch graphics displayed on your TV, and you'll know immediately when severe weather is approaching. But technology isn't everything. You've got my 15 years of experience here at Channel 5 working on your side. the day that Batman Returns opens in theaters around the country, brings Catwoman back to battle it out with Batman. Julie Newmar and Lee Mer Merriweather brought Catwoman to life 
back in the 1960s when the TV series was such a big hit. And so did the fabulous Eartha Kitt, who is such a talented performer and who many people say should be playing Catwoman in the new movie. Eartha joins us now by phone from Queensland, Australia, where she's currently singing in her own one-woman show. Nice to have you with us, Eartha. Thank you. Good. It's, not, it's not, that, that unmistakable voice of Eartha Kitt. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm you, you must have loved that, Eartha, huh? Eartha? Oh, yes, I had, I had a tremendous fun with that part. Okay. Here's Lee Merriweather. Hold on. I'm, I'm, it's just such a treat to even get to meet you uh, across so many miles. I, I just <laughs> I adore you. I'm only 27 major... hours away from you, and I'm, I'm missing home. I'm going to be there next week. Oh, oh. And the Batman is going to be opening here, probably Friday as well. Is it going to be opening in America as well there? Yes. It's, it's opening, yes, today, actually, when this... Well, I guess it's airs. opening around the world at the same time, it yes. must be. Eartha, were you yes. surprised when you uh, played Catwoman in the second season? I mean, did no. they... No, why should I be surprised? The part was mine anyway. <laughs> Everybody thinks that I'm a cat anyhow, so it, I just did, went in and did my thing. I didn't even have to think about the character. It was right. me. <laughs> we, we, uh, we just heard your purr. Lee, let's hear yours. Mine, I had, well, mine was a very subtle purr, but what I had to do at one point was something that I'd taken from my childhood, listening to cats um, <clears throat> um, making love on the fence in our backyard. <laughs> That's and not it was what they did. <laughs> but it's... Now I know what that sound means. <laughs> yeah. Julie, uh, okay. We've heard Eartha, we've heard Lee. Here's the Julie Newmar purr. Well, you have to take a very deep breath. <laughs> Yeah, I'd prefer to have your ear right near my nose here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like this. <laughs> here's, here's something very funny. Eartha. I think this is quite remarkable. You have never seen yourself play Catwoman? No, I haven't. Every time it was going to be shown, I either had to go downstairs to do my work, or I've seen other people do the character. As a matter of fact, I saw Judy Newmars here the other day, and I thought maybe one of these days while I'm in the area, they will be showing mine, but they haven't gotten to that segment yet. <laughs> but now, what does Michelle Pfeiffer's meow sound like? <laughs> Oh, I wish I could do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you so, wish you could I do that, so right? I'm so envious of that. Oh, I, I get the feeling you came out of the cradle with that sound, Eartha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you think of Adam West as Batman? Eartha? Well, he was Batman. I think he was playing the character as the character was written. Right. Oh. And I had a lot of fun playing with them because they were, as the characters were that I read about in the cartoons. Right. Lee, what did you think well, I thought they were Adam, good for the character. He, w he was incredible. He was able to tread that fine line between reality and comedy and farce so beautifully. He, I, I, he's a very underrated actor. He's uh, brilliant. I've seen him on stage. I've seen him in other, you know, films, television. I think he's wonderful. Julie? It's I think you're right. He didn't carry the char character into being corny. Well, yeah. Right, exactly. But he, he was that way off stage. He was? <laughs> he was Batman off stage, too. Oh, he was the blue, perfect Batman. Keaton can't compare. I think no. Keaton is too diffident for Batman. I think Batman just saw it and went right to it, you know? Yes, and now guess what? Look behind you, cat women. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,
Still to come, the very sexy Ashley Montana will tell us what it takes to make it as a Ford supermodel. It's the best part of the day. You put all your cares away. Get ready for a smile on your face. It's just the right time and just the right place. The music you love, the movies you share, the things that make you care. Keeping value high will serve you so. Our relationship will grow. For special Columbia House offers this month at selected magazines, newspapers, and your mail. Osmond is Joseph in Andrew Lloyd Webber's dazzling new production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat starting September 15th at the historic State Theater. Tickets on sale at the box office or call 612-989-5151. People say Ember's Steak and Eggs Platter is the best they've ever had. Two farm fresh eggs, three buttermilk pancakes, hash brown potatoes, and a USDA choice sirloin steak. Only $3.99. Come and see if you don't agree. There's only one place for food this good. Embers. Only Embers. The Achieva is the most exciting new car in the year. The Achieva has anti-lock brakes, a quad four engine, automatic, air conditioning, AM, FM, and more. Plus $750 cash back or 3.9% financing. Check out the Cutlass Sierra with $1,000 cash back or an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme with $1,000 cash back. A great selection of great deals at Wally McCarthy's Oldsmobile in Roseville and Richfield. I mean, I mean, think about it. Adam West does two seasons, and the movie. He's got three cat women. He's got Julie Newmar, Lee Merriweather, and Eartha Kitt. <laughs> yeah, right. What a lucky <laughs> step. So, so who's the favorite? Come on now. Who's your favorite, Adam? Oh, oh no. Lord, the, this, no. No. Uh, no. The, 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 well, I gotta ask. It, it's like walking into the lion's den. Party. <laughs> uh, uh, it reminds me of an ad I saw once in a Swedish newspaper for a triple massage. Only th <laughs> <laughs> this, this was a triple massage of talent, believe me. And uh, I... Did they all play it differently? Yes. And, you know, as an actor, you play the moments and whatever is offered. And believe me, they offered plenty in the way of... I offered him cookies and milk. Come on. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We did stay late, didn't we, one yes, night? One yes, night. cookies and milk. I was milk. just wondering <laughs> if you got... if the cat women ever got jealous of each other while they were playing the roles. Mm. But we were never on together or knew about each other at the yeah. time. Did you ever compare how you played it versus how Lee played it or how Eartha well, played it? Well, I did it, it first, so... <laughs> yes. okay. I didn't have a choice. Uh, I, yeah. I did, but... <laughs> Hi, how do you feel, about, how do you feel about Michelle Pfeiffer taking over the role? I think she's the best thing that happened to Hollywood in the last 20 years. I even wrote her a letter and said, you're great. I just have a question for Lee Merriweather. How did you make the transition from being Miss America to the movies? Was it a hard transition to make? No, actually, it was uh, it was uh, taken care of me. I was on the Today Show, and I uh, just so slowly but surely made the transition. That to, was a great to transition to make oh, from TV. Barnaby Jones. I've got yeah. two short questions I'd like to ask Adam West. Mm -hmm. right. um, number one, I'd like to know what are you doing presently since you're no longer playing Batman. Well, I'm just paying the bills, doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, I'm not playing Batman, of course, right. but <clears throat> I've done uh, two series pilots uh, this year: one for CBS, one for NBC. 
and uh, I'm doing a picture in Baltimore, which uh, enabled me to be here today. Wouldn't miss this for the world. But are you working and, at it? And I'm working. <laughs> yes. also, and like I go a little gardening. And by the way, by he, this is an original cowboy, right? I mean, this is a guy who grew up in the Northwest. State mm -hmm. of Washington, right, Anna? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. By the way, I'd like to say that us three here are your number one fans, and we'd like to know if we can get a hug from you. Oh. <laughs> All right, go up there. Get up there. Quick. Quick. My gosh. That's it. That's okay. Here's, listen to this, ladies. I have, to, I have questions for the two, cat woman. How did you get to the bathroom when you were wearing this outfit? <laughs> First, Dr. let's ask Eartha. Eartha, when you were in the yes. outfit, how did you get to the ladies' room? We didn't bother to do anything like that. <laughs> exactly. I, I wanted desperately to have some sort of relief tube because it, it was it was next to impossible no, to... No, no, mine had to, a zipper. What's the matter with your dressmaker? But it's just, it took forever to get it on and off. And Robin said, awful. holy kitty litter. <laughs> so terrible. My backstage jokes again. You're right. right. You're, Sorry. right. You're right, he is the perfect Batman. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'd like to know if any of you have, um, like, a favorite episode or something. Yeah. Is there a favorite episode, Julie? Oh, yes, when I played Miss Klutz. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Well, just the word. You, uh, I had a, uh, Lee, how about that, you? That was the best. Any moment in the movie that you liked the boat the most? Yes, with uh, Burgess Meredith, uh, the penguin. I mean, it was one of the funniest moments. Burgess, who was just, you know, he's fabulous, and he, he's down where dehydrating his uh, henchmen, <laughs> and we have to, and it's, right. oh, it's wonderful. And the powder, and he has to get it all into the test tube, because then when he pours water in, they turn back into human beings, right? And so... Uh, we inadvertently spilled some of them, and he's ad-libbed, and we're filming, and, it, and it's in the picture. And he says, oh, don't miss a one of them. Every one of them's got a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, proud of right. myself that I didn't break up. <laughs> At least let me finish the scene. Eartha, any, yes. any particular episode you remember the best? The when they made the Catwoman car. I had to get into the car with Cesar Romero. Oh, yeah? Whom I thought was absolutely marvelous as the Joker. Oh, yes. He was one of the funniest people in the char as the characters. Yeah. Right. And they had this car for me, and I had to learn how to drive a stick shift car. And they asked me if I knew how to drive a stick shift car, and of course I didn't say yes and I didn't say no. <laughs> but at 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunset Boulevard, I learned how to drive that car, and when I went on the set at 8 o'clock, I drove it. And Cesar Romero, being as tall as he is, we had to sort of scrunch him up so he could get into the car. And that was a very funny moment. Okay. Cesar was wonderful to yeah. me when I came on the show. We had uh, uh, explosions happening. He protected me. He moved me in the scene. Mm -hmm. I was in the, uh, in the Penguin submarine. And he protected me while he was acting. He was pretty... I, th I think he's a wonderful man. Eartha? The audience yes. was very young. What kind of impact do you think you had being a black American on a predominantly white show for about, kids growing up? Very good. How about that, Eartha? I thought it was one of the pioneering things that has happened to television, and more of that kind of thing should be happening now. Yeah. And, and it and affected the young people very strongly because they were very proud of the fact that a black person was in a show that they didn't think about her being black or white. First of all, I'd like to thank all the ladies. Y'all all look beautiful, plus Earth the Kid. I'd like a question for Adam. What is Robin up to these days? <laughs> uh, I think of myself as a pioneer in a sense there, too, because I was uh, a single parent. <laughs> yes, yes. That's Bruce Wayne, right? Bruce With Robin. Wayne. Robin is living on the West Coast, uh, happily married, and has a new baby. And, uh, yes, yes, it seems like he's in great shape. Hi, I'd like to know what you thought of the first Batman, if you saw it, and what you thought of it. The, 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 movie, the Michael the first, Keaton movie, the yeah. first movie. Well, there's a great, uh, obviously a great depth of talent there and, and production design. 
and uh, I think that... Uh, what about the darkness, the dark quality of it? Was, well, it wasn't ours, was it, ladies? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Well, the 60s ours. was more fun. Yes. Let's get schizophrenic. Well, ours was a little more lighthearted, yeah. is all. And, yes. You know, it was more time for sex. It was an easier, gentler time, too. Yeah. Okay. I have a question for Batman. If he had any off-screen romances with any of the Catwomen? Yeah. <laughs> no, <Jonathan. laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's the wrong time to answer. <laughs> I must say, of course he didn't. No. <laughs> Eartha, I want to thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, my gosh, uh, you, you're the best, and uh, come home soon, please, because you're such a marvelous performer. We want to see you, okay? Thank you. I'll be home on Wednesday. Terrific. <laughs> Eartha Kitt and Lou Merriweather and Julie Lumar and Adam West. This is great. It's Batman time. We'll be back after this. <laughs>